Hello oh, YouTube, Tom Bannon here 84 here. Today I want to do a little video demonstrating some of the difficulties and problems you'll find using crossbows whilst wearing body armour. Now for the purpose of this video I'm going to be demonstrating three different kinds of body armour and several different kinds of crossbows to try and emphasise some of the points. Okay, so the first one we'll start with is a plate carrier. Now, you've all seen these, you see guys using these running AR rigs and AK-47s, all that sort of shit. Now here in the UK, we don't know on that, we can't really stick to get hold of it, we have to use crossbows. Okay, so this vest, as you can see, Kevlar vest, got full size rifle plates in it, just like my MTP Osprey vest, what we've seen in a previous video. Okay, so the first problem we're going to encounter, this crossbow, 175 pound Jaguar Armex crossbow, is the length of the crossbow. Now, again, I'm only a short arse, so if you're a bit taller, probably won't be as much of a problem, but for me, it's a problem I'm going to demonstrate. Okay, so we've now got the bar on the ground, attempting to cut the crossbow, we can't do it. Try again, physically, cannot reach a string. Try and push it down to the side, just about, no. 175 pound draw weight crossbow. I could probably pull it just about, but the angles I'm going to be doing are more likely going to pull muscles in my back. I'm going to cause myself an injury. So, this crossbow with this vest set up, no good. I would injure myself cracking the crossbow. Not worth it. Okay. So, we move on to something a little bit more. Space age or tactical, as they might say, i.e., pistol grip crossbow, a little bit shorter, a bit easier to shoulder, as you can see, a lot easier, bring it up, nice and comfortable. Question is, can I bend over and cock this? That's our sound, well, isn't it? <laughs> right, so again, down on the ground, trying to lean over, yeah. Just about get the string on this comfortably, keeping myself straight as I bring myself back up. So yes, I would be able to use this crossbow with this type of body armour, i.e. a plate carrier system. Now, solution I found for this particular problem was to fit an adjustable stock onto an existing crossbow. As you can see, it's an M4 style stock or an AR style stock. Most people are familiar with them. Obviously, these parts are from an airsoft gun. I only use airsoft parts for these crossbows anyway. They're not firearms, so they're not going to be undergoing the same kind of stresses. So I find airsoft parts work fine. However, the sights, not so well. The cam check the sights apart. So again with this, excuse me, Nice and short, bring it up to the shoulder, nice, very comfortable, bend it down, bring it down, can we cock this one? Absolute piece of piss. No problems whatsoever. And again, like I say, adjustable stock, depending on the length of the user. And again, being a £120 draw like crossbow, this is modified Mancon Commando, just in case you didn't already know, it's a lot easier to cock. So you can cock it more times in a short space of time and ultimately get off more shots with something like this. A lot easier to use with body armour. And the last one, the crossbow you just saw, obviously I fitted my own stock to that, so you can't go out and buy that crossbow. So if you're looking for a crossbow with an extendable stock, this is what I would recommend, Jaguar Mark II crossbar. Nice and simple, stock can be shortened, it can be lengthened. So again, using the plate carrier system, can we cut this crossbar? Yeah. No problem whatsoever, so we can reach over, we can cut that. Okay, so that's the first armour choice. So as you can see, depending on the type of crossbow, we do have limitations using a system like that. 
Yeah. Simpler option. Although they're getting a bit harder to find now in the UK. Although the US have their own version of these. Vietnam era styled body armor. This one is a British Army Northern Ireland issue ballistic nylon. Doesn't come with any plates whatsoever. So we go through it again. Again, full length, full size crossbow. Nice and easy to shoulder. The vest like this. Now these shoulder supports work well with a long weapon. Don't forget this vest was designed to be used when the British Army were using the SLR rifles, the long rifle. So that works just fine. Okay, can we bend over to cocky? Yeah. So we can bend over to cock this. Nice and simple. My body's nice and straight. I'm not having to bend over at strange weird angles. I can get in to cut the crossbow. So it stands to reason. I'll have absolutely no problems with the others. Again, shoulders nice, nice and comfortable. Shorts to the crossbows. Can I cock it? Yeah. No problem whatsoever. So this kind of vest, as demonstrated, you can use it with any of the crossbows that I own. So that's four or five different length crossbows. No problems. Just for fun, just mix it up a little bit. Try another one. Yeah, same results. So, for ease of using a crossbow, this particular vest is compatible with everything. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. Now, as mentioned before, this vest is becoming a bit more scarce now in the UK. There is this vest, good old fashioned British Army Enhanced Combat Body Armour It's still available in the surplus market Everywhere yeah. One moment You'll have no trouble finding one of these vests As you can see, it utilises a much smaller plate This is only a 6x8 size plate Whereas the large plate carrier takes a 10 by 12 It's a smaller plate. Personally, I don't foresee there being any problems cocking the full length Jaguar. So again, put it down to the ground, bend over, can we reach it? Yes. Just about, we can reach it. A little bit of a strain, not quite as comfortable as a Northern Ireland flak vest, but a lot more doable than the full size plate carrier. Now again, shouldering. Now, the shoulder's okay. However, it does tend to want to slide off a little bit. We don't have the shoulder or the rifle guides like we have on the Northern Ireland vest. So if you can just about cut the full size crossbow, stands to reason you have no trouble with the smallest. Nice and comfortable. I'm not even touching the stock with the vest there. Does it shoulder? Yeah. Shoulder's fine. There you go. So, body armour and crossbows. In summary, what works, what's compatible. The best you can see now, like I say, the most commonly available in the UK. You can generally pick them up without the plates now under the £30 mark and as you can see it's compatible with every crossbow that I own ECBA winner second vest Northern Ireland issue ballistic nylon again compatible with every single crossbow that I own different stock lengths not a problem and with the addition of the rifle pads in the shoulder for the alignment it's actually a lot more comfortable too and the last vest, plate carrier, full size rifle plates, is more limited. You can only really use the shorter, shorter length rifles and the crossbows with adjustable stocks. So you're not going to get away with using a full size crossbow like this, if like me, 
for a short arse. Okay. Well, that's it for me today anyway. What crossbars work with what vests. And tonight, if you're wondering, Jack, tonight's drink. Good old fashioned cup of tea. School night, so I'm off the pop tonight. But anyway, that's it from me, Tumbo 1984. Any questions, please feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. Peace out.